Hello all of you. Thank you for joining me again on this channel on health and wellness for all. Today I'm going to be talking to you about gut health and gut immunity so do keep watching. So each time uh, we hear about a wave of COVID infections happening, we all get worried about our gut immunity, about our immunity itself. We worry whether we will get infected, are we going to need a hospital admission, what will happen to our family, will we be able to recover well and so on and so forth. And we keep stuffing ourselves with all kind of so-called immunity boosters and health drinks and so on. Like there is no end to it. But I think you have to understand that immunity is not something that is built over a day or you know just over a month. Immunity, gut immunity, gut health which is what we are talking about all the time now is something which happens over a period of time and you have to work towards it. It is not something that you just drink a couple of drinks in a day or you, you know have all these so-called immunity boosting tea or immunity boosting herbs or things like that and you overdo it and in fact you cause harm to yourself. In fact, there are uh, reported cases of even uh, liver failure because people have been taking so-called immunity boosters, you know, in an excessive amount. So what do we need to do about our gut health? What is gut health? How do you maintain the gut health? What are the good foods and what are the bad foods? What you should take in and what you should avoid? Let's talk about it more. So gut health or gut immunity, we have also been talking on the Instagram page about the um, gut health and it is so important that you understand that the gut or the intestine or the you know uh, what is the gut so the gut will start from your mouth it goes on to your food pipe it goes on to your small intestine your stomach your large intestine and finally you are going to take out whatever undigested food is out as poop now to understand why we talk about gut health so much is that whatever you are going to be eating it could be good food, it could be a junk food, whatever you're eating, your gut or your intestine starting from your mouth is going to start the process of digestion. So if the gut health is not good, you could have problems like um, indigestion, acidity, bloating, uh, you could have constipation. Some people also develop hair loss, acne, mood swings because their gut health is not good. And that is because our gut is made up of uh, good bacteria we keep hearing about all these different kind of bacteria like lactobacilli is a very important gut bacteria which is a good bacteria and this good bacteria basically helps in breaking down of the food that you're going to eat absorption of all the nutrients from the food so that you are going to get the energy the proteins the vitamins the micronutrients from the food that you eat if you do not however have good gut bacteria you have excess of bad bacteria you're going to end up having all the different problems of acidity indigestion bloating gas you know you're going to even have difficulty in digesting the normal food that you eat you could have lactose intolerance and in fact there is something called a leaky gut in which because the lining of your stomach your intestine small and large are not intact the lining becomes uh, infected and the lining becomes leaky you can even be absorbing a lot of toxic waste from your food which should normally not be taken up by your body but normally it should be passing out because your gut is not healthy because the good bacteria are not there all these problems can happen especially if you are say uh, you've had fever or you've had infection or you've had some kind of a problem where you need to take antibiotics that's the time when these antibiotics can even damage the good bacteria so this is the time when you have to take extra care of your gut and your gut to heal so that you don't eat harsh food processed food and stuff which is going to damage these bacteria and not help your gut to recover our gut health is also important because if you are not going to have a good and healthy gut, sometimes you can also have problems related to your mental health, such as mood swings, you could have depression, uh, you could, you know, because your gut is not absorbing the proteins in a proper way. So the brain, which is dependent on the proteins to form so many neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, these are not produced. So it is very important that you understand your body, you understand what is on your plate. Talking about good foods to eat, 
uh, foods which are going to help you maintain a good gut health foods that are going to help you maintain the good bacteria there are foods which are called prebiotics which basically are say banana you have fruit you have vegetables fresh vegetables like you can have in salads which you made at home you could have a bowl of fruits uh, rice uh, you know all of these things are uh, garlic ginger all of these things actually have fiber and these help provide food to the good bacteria and then you have uh, foods which are called probiotics we keep listening about them so much nowadays very simple probiotic is curd buttermilk uh, lassi um, something like um, rice kanji even you hear about pickles which are made at home uh, beetroot kanji and so many other things in which you a process of fermentation takes place which is why these are rich in the good bacteria or even sprouts and these good bacteria basically help to maintain your gut health and help in digestion and once you have a good gut health not only are you able to digest your food properly you are also going to get rid of problems like constipation loose stools food intolerance acidity bloating you also are going to maintain a good immune system because 60 to 70 percent of our immunity is dependent on our gut because if our gut is healthy we are going to get rid of all the bad bacteria and all the kind of bad infection which enters our body. But if the gut is not healthy, we on the other hand, even simple food, the toxic products which are in the food are going to get absorbed. And these can lead on to many problems like, you know, even autoimmune conditions like a, like a thyroiditis or uh, you have problem like IBS or inflammatory bowel uh, disease. All of these problems are because of bad uh, gut health. So... Take care of yourself. Make sure that you are mindful of what you are eating. Don't keep, you know, eating all the junk and the garbage food which is mindlessly taken in, rich in sugar, which is lacking fiber, which is processed and which is made of, you know, very deep fried food, which is in the oil, which is not a healthy oil. And ensure that you take charge of what comes to your plate. You take charge of what you are eating, how you are eating, when you are eating. So ensure that you maintain that mindfulness and start with small changes like you could just um, probably start your day with warm water which helps in metabolism, add a little fruit to your morning routine, uh, do not keep too much of gap between your meals, cut down on your sugar in terms of the ice creams and the sodas that you're taking and add on some fresh fruit, vegetable, sprouts, buttermilk, curd, almonds, walnuts, dry fruits to your diet and take care of your gut health, take care of your immunity and stay safe from any kind of infection in the future. Take care all of you and join you, join me again in a video in the coming days. Thank you.